Welcome to Grip News 2M, your source for the latest in financial and government policy news. The Biden administration has unveiled a proposed rule aimed at preventing unscrupulous advisors from taking advantage of retirement savers. The rule would require financial advisors, brokers, and insurance agents selling retirement investments to act in the best interests of their clients, not themselves. The goal. The primary goal is to protect consumers by ensuring that advisors prioritize their clients' financial well-being. President Joe Biden emphasized the need to safeguard retirement savers, highlighting that while many advisors offer honest and fair advice, there are exceptions. Some advisors prioritize their profits over the best interests of their clients. Standardizing Rules The proposed rule seeks to standardize rules for those providing retirement advice and selling retirement products. It aims to cover all types of retirement advice and transactions, ensuring that advisors act as fiduciaries, avoiding conflicts of interest. Limitations of Current Rules While existing rules, such as the Employee Retirement Income Security Act and the Securities and Exchange Commission's Best Interest Rules, offer some protection, they do not cover all types of investment products and transactions. For instance, non-securities like real estate and certain annuities fall outside the scope of current regulations. Implications The proposed rule aims to eliminate situations where high-cost annuities, which may not be in the client's best interest, are sold for generous commissions. The White House estimates that without a fiduciary standard, the sales of such annuities could be costing retirees up to $5 billion annually. Protecting Retirement Savers Requiring advisors to act in the best interests of savers can increase retirement returns, potentially adding up to 20% more savings over a lifetime. This could save middle-class savers tens or even hundreds of thousands of dollars that might have otherwise been lost to junk fees. Industry Response While the proposed rule is a positive step, it is expected to face industry opposition. Some financial organizations argue that regulations already address conflicts of interest, but proponents emphasize the need for a consistent standard to protect consumers nationwide. Next Steps After the proposal is published, there will be a 60-day period for public comments and potential revisions before finalization. Stay tuned for updates on this important development. That's our coverage of the Biden administration's efforts to eliminate junk fees in retirement investments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more essential financial and policy news. Thanks for joining us at Grip News 2M.